A lot of people think that because my last name is Jester, that I was destined to pull pranks. Caltech student life is absolutely defined by work hard, play hard. You'll see this in the stories of the big pranks. The big pranks really started with the Great Rose Bowl hoax, of course, which was back in 1961. One of my favorite pranks was the Hollywood sign prank because of the extreme scale of it. When I became prank club president, I swore to myself that I would pull off something that's huge and that's awesome. My first huge prank was an ode to the Hollywood sign prank, building the equivalent of a Hollywood sign on the hillside overlooking the Rose Bowl. But instead of reading Hollywood, it read Pasadena. But the sign was 150 feet wide by 20 feet tall. Kip Thorne actually talked to his homeowners association to let us go on the hillside. We had to transport all of the materials for the sign up switchbacks. There was like 150, 200 feet of vertical change. We rigged up a pulley system to get it up to the top and then stood them up like picture frames. Over 100 students came to help all day and all night over three days. The Rose Bowl bathed in sunshine sitting at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains. It's a big game in the Rose Bowl, so there's people tailgating. A bunch of people were posting pictures of the iconic Pasadena sign. You know, pulling up their drinks and like pointing at it. And then secretly, we had covered it in orange lights. Right before halftime, we lit up the sign so that the hillside in bright orange sparkling letters said Caltech. We were all so ecstatic. Caltech and MIT have had a friendly rivalry for quite some time. There's the t-shirt prank, of course, and then they stole the Fleming cannon. We decided that we wanted to keep this going. What do you need when it's cold? You need warm beverages. So we actually posed as students hired by the MIT Alumni Association to give out free mugs. Then, of course, when they drink a hot drink out of it, the mug no longer says MIT, and instead says Caltech, and a nice little palm tree pops up. There are a few people posting pictures of themselves, like, here's the mug! Late that night, some students actually figured it out, saying it was all a ruse. This secretly, this is Caltech, and these mugs are lies. They were quite surprised. The pranks are really just another way for Caltech to do things that no one else does. You know, they take a bit of engineering know-how to pull them off. It's doing things that are just one step before impossible. Things that are unexpected and things that are incredibly hard, but really, really awesome. That's really the same spirit that brings us to do great things in science and engineering, to discover something new, to invent something new.